Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of FIOT, Fundamentals of IOT. In today's class, we are going to start our second unit with respect to JNTU Hyderabad syllabus. So the first topic from the second unit is machine to machine communication. In short, we can also call it as M to M communications. Okay. So what is a machine to machine communication with respect to IOT? Once the data is received from the several sensors and once the data is fetched regarding the parameters of the uh, natural elements using the sensors. Uh, the data should be uh, exchanged or should be uh, traveled for a particular distance, wired or wirelessly, okay, in which the machines plays a major role, okay. So, in order to transmit a particular data, sensor data, okay, for a particular uh, areas or in order to data exchange between a particular systems or a machines okay so uh, we need to see how this machine to machine communication actually works okay so uh, basically a machine to machine refers to networking of machine that means communication of this particular machines purpose of remote monitoring and controlling and also for the data exchange okay so in order to remotely monitor if at all necessary we can also control the particular actuators and whenever required the data exchange can also be done reading of the data writing of the data uh, within the machines okay or the systems or the pcs or the servers okay so uh, we are going to see an architecture of end to end m2m systems okay so this particular architecture of machine to machine systems will be having how the machine to machine area network communications uh, with respect to the ap uh, application domain is used okay so generally machine to machine area networks will be having machines which are embedded with the hardware modules so these hardware modules can be like a sensing um, uh, sensors okay uh, actuators like motors uh, bulbs or somewhat leds or some uh, displays kind of thing and also communication modules okay so most of the uh, communication protocols okay are used in this particular machine to machine local area networks okay so if at all we are going for a nearby distance uh, in order to communicate between a two machines we will be using we will be generally calling or considering it as local area networks okay so uh, we will be using a communication protocol like Zigbee protocol, Bluetooth protocol, Modbus, MBUS, wireless MBUS, okay, power line communication, PLC, and also we will be using a protocol like IEEE 802.15.4 and many more protocols are there. So all these protocols are considered between the machine to machine in a local area network, which is very much near, okay. So let's see the diagram once. So if you consider the machine to machine system architecture, so the left side, what you see is a uh, machine to machine area networks, which are local area networks. Okay. So there are several uh, uh, machine sensors or the actuators, okay, which are working with respect to IoT devices. All are uh, intercommunicated. Okay. So these are intercommunicated. Okay. And these uh, intercommunication between these machines can be done by a uh, local area network on with the help of a protocols just now we have seen right zigbee bluetooth modbus mbus okay wireless mbus plc ieee related 802.15.4 everything all these protocols will be coming in this particular m2m area network okay once the communication has been done between these particular machines okay so these should be uh, sent to a kind of PCs or a servers, okay. So for the data, in order to move for a larger distances, okay. So we will be having two types of core networks. One is wired network and one is wireless network. We can send the signal or the we can send or exchange the data or monitor or uh, uh, alter or we can control the data. One is through wired network, another one is through wireless network. But between this wired network wireless network or the machine to machine area networks we will be having m2m gateways that means machine to machine gateways actually what is this machine to machine gateways we are going to see in the coming diagram okay so once 
uh, a wired or wireless uh, networks are considered or uh, taken into consideration, uh, they will be uh, sourced onto the or moved onto the M2M applications. Okay. So these, there will be several wide areas of M2, machine to machine applications. Okay. So this is what the diagram or the architecture explains. Now, the communication, as I've already said, it, we can also use wired or wireless networks. Okay. So to enable communication between the remote M2M area networks as well as the particular, as I've already said, right, M2M core, we need to use M2M gateways. Okay. So what are these M2M gateways? We can be uh, better knowing with respect to a diagram. Okay. So M2M gateway is based on the communication protocols which are native to the M2M area network. Okay. So uh, M2M gateway performs protocol translation to enable IP connectivity to M2M area network. So you will be having an IP address. So based on using that particular IP address, okay, uh, we can uh, use some protocol translations in order to have an M2M gateway. Okay. So if you see the diagram over here, M2M node and the M2M node is nothing but the uh, machines or the actuators or the IoT devices which are communicating each other with the local area networks. That is, we have seen few protocols like Zigbee, Bluetooth, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, okay. So once they have um, come, they have a proper communication between that particular machine to machine. The data will be sent to the gateway M2M gateway as we have seen in the architecture diagram. Okay. So what this particular gateway consists of means so it will be having a native protocol. Okay, and the protocol translation process will be done and there will be a proxy. Okay, so this particular uh, M2M gateway will be either for wired or wireless. Okay, so the M2M gateway will be having a native protocol, protocol transition as well as proxy. Okay, so from there, there will be an IP address or the IP routing through which the data can be transferred onto an uh, particular servers kind of thing. Okay. So this particular M2M gateway acts as a proxy performing translations from or to the native protocols or to or from the internet protocol. Okay. So this particular M2M data is gathered in a point solution like enterprise applications, service management applications, and remote monitoring applications. Okay. So this particular machine to machine also have various application domains such as smart metering. Okay. So uh, we can use it for smart meters. Okay. As especially used for home automation. Suppose there are n number of rooms in a particular house. Okay. All these IoT devices are uh, need to have a data exchange and combinedly work together to get a good output. Okay. Not only that industrial automation, there will be lots and lots of sensors attached to this particular uh, uh, industries. Okay. All these will be again connected to several nodes. Okay. Each and every IoT node need to have a communication between the another machines. Okay. Smart grid. Okay. So all these things, if it is a small IoT application, then it's fine. Okay. But whenever we are going for a real time high end applications like IoT implementations, so machine to machine uh, data conversation or the data exchange monitoring, okay, or altering, okay, or uh, operating is everything comes under consideration. So M2M solutions can also provide uh, if uh, facilities such as data collection, storage, as well as it can give services to many applications as well. Okay. So as I've already seen, uh, we have already seen, right? Home automation, industrial automation, smart. Grid. The whole process between this particular machine to machine will happens with respect to a gateway. So 